Collage with Photographs by Dora Charest. This is an easy project. All you need is a lot of magazines or photographs. First you draw a sketch, something very simple, and then you begin to look at magazine. I'm going to create something that's a little different from my sample here. The first step you do is start choosing colors. So for the foreground, I want a little bit of green. So I look to different magazines and I tear them up. I pick different kinds of greens and I'm going to just collage them and overlap them. It can be ads in magazines, it can be whole articles, it can be anything you see that is green. Now I need bits of red for the sun and I can choose colors from anything I see. I can use magazine pictures and tear them up just like that and just keep adding materials or colors that will work for my painting. So here all I'm doing is collecting different colors that I will add to my painting. So National Geographics and high color magazines like travel magazines are excellent for this project. What you need to do now is just collect colors that you will tear up and put together. So that kind of blue gray is good for skies. I am going to have a sky so I need some color. More blues, more blue gray. I just look for different items that I might need in my painting. I've speeded up the process now because I find it's just so slow to watch. So we're going to take this whole big pile of magazines and tear them up. Now there's a trick to tearing. If you look at my first video on mixed media collage, you'll learn all about how to tear so you don't have that white edge. If you want that white edge, that's fine. But if you don't want it, then you need to learn to tear properly. The next item you need is gel. And then you put gel under and gel over and just keep gelling. Just keep adding to your surface and just gel the whole item down. Now each piece of newspaper or picture or whatever you choose needs to be glued down really well. Gel is semi-opaque and sometimes it kind of looks like it's going to be okay and it isn't and we have to add a few more layers after so this might not be a one-step process like it looks it could be but it might be a, a two-step process once you've glued things down you realize sometimes that you missed some spot just remember that you might have to do this a second time just fill in the little spots like you see in the middle there but just add the bigger pieces for now and then you can just add some more later on. You can go over the edges, that's not a problem because once everything is dry you can trim it again. And it's easier to trim after than it is to try and fit it right into that rectangle space. So just keep adding completely gel under, gel over and vary the colors. The variation in colors is what makes it interesting. So just keep adding and layering and adding some more and just creating that really rich surface. That's lovely right there. So here we go. We keep adding. The more variety you have, the more interesting it's going to be. That's the beauty of using photographs for this kind of collage. So I've added gel over and gel under and I'm going to let all the greens dry now and work on another section. People don't always work from the bottom up. You can choose which way you want to work. I just find that if I work below the horizon line or above the horizon line, then it's better. Here I am cutting up the edges once they're dry. See how easy that is? And just trim it. And here I have my collage. I've added lots of pieces and I filled it in off camera. I'm still not very happy with everything because things are not blending properly. Now one 
it looks like three different sections. So one thing that you can do to make it look like it all goes together is to take some of the colors like the gold and put it in the gray. You keep adding little sections and repeating the color. So what I will do is I'll put little bits of gold in the gray and then my eye feels like okay that's true the sun is going into the clouds and we're having little bits peek out and it's lovely it just looks great it makes the piece that much better i'm adding some more remember to gel under and gel over now i've picked a landscape for this piece but you don't necessarily have to use landscapes you can pick any kind of subject area you like i'm going to put some of the grays into the gold color so that the gold the gray sky comes down into the gold color from the sun that creates a more harmony between the colors I'm just going to blend it all together so it looks better. This is a very easy process and a lot of it depends on design. You can pick any topic you like. Your imagination is the only thing that's limiting. So just think about what you would like to do and just do it. That's about all it amounts to. I'm just going to keep trying to blend the colors in and adding little grays into the gold color and adding gold color into the grays. If there are very plain areas like I see at the bottom part and next to a very textured area, the plain area will stand out. So that's something that I can see that I should really fix later on. So near my mountains, I'm going to add a layer of gold. And what that does is brings the color down even more. It's lovely that way. See how that adds another dimension to the whole process, the whole painting. It's wonderful. We have three, maybe four levels of uh, dimension. So we'll have the sky area. We'll have the hills. We're going to have foothills now by adding this small piece of gold. And we'll have the foreground. It adds another dimension to the whole painting. Oh, that green spot is bothering me. So I think what I'll do is I'll add a few pieces to hide that big blank green spot and just break it up a little bit because it just takes away from the whole experience of the bottom. All I look at at the bottom is that big green spot. Take the time to fine tune your image. You just keep adding different little pieces. If you don't like something, keep in mind that you just collage on top of it. So now what I'm gonna do is add some highlights to the bottom so the sun is shining on the foreground and leaving gold-ish little marks. So they, these pieces, what they do is they actually bring our eye into the painting. So I'm just looking at it upside down now to see if the composition works. When the, you're not sure if the composition works, you turn it upside down and check it out. It's easier to see your errors when things are upside down. And I'm looking at the sun and I'm not liking what I see. So I'm just going to add a few little pieces here and there and tweak the whole painting. Now mind you, you could keep doing this for weeks and weeks and it's a very easy process. You just glue on top whatever you don't like and blend it a little more. So just keep tweaking and adding just like I'm doing now. Here's more or less the final product. Enjoy this. It's really fun. It's a great process. I'm going to keep adding and adding and adding. I won't stop but I will stop for now. So enjoy this collaging with photographs and we'll see you in the next segment. Oh, my God.